Hello there Sagittarius. Welcome to your mid-June. So I have a lot of messages that are coming out for you guys and uh, the first thing that I want to mention here is um, it, it feels to me like a lot of you have been in a situation where you either you, you either feel some regret when it comes to your motherly or fatherly duties, okay? So I feel like this might pertain to people with kids. Um, for whatever reason, you feel like you could have done more for your child. You might have been either physically or emotionally unavailable to your children growing up. And then as a result of that, um, I feel like some of you might have children that are a little bit um, rowdy, a little bit out of control. And it's hard for you to discipline the child because, you know, the because of the, those years of absence and also because of that lack of structure, that lack of foundation that you provided for the child. And so you see the child drifting away. And um, I feel like some of you have children that you might be estranged from. And it's really hard for you to try to bridge that, that, that emotional rift and to establish that emotional connection with your kids. And then for others, I feel like your kids are acting up and um, it's hard for you to know how to approach your child because of that physical distance or that emotional distance. And um, the other message that I'm also feeling as well is a lot of you have lived through many, many, many experiences. So I feel like you've had a very interesting life. For some of you, it might have been extra exciting. For others, it might have been turbulent. And uh, I feel like you've been through a lot of hardships too. So you could even be, you know, 20 years old watching this. And I feel like overall you've had a lot of life experience under your belt. A lot more than the other signs anyway. So I feel like life was always very, you know, transient. Coming and going. Uh, shifts in location. A lot of like change in housing environment. Shifts in countries even. Um, so you've been put in, thrust into some very dynamic, interesting uh, situations. And uh, a lot of them were good, you know, they're character building, but a lot of them might have been bad. And um, the ways that you got out of situations that might have been bad was you were very optimistic. And uh, it's kind of like, you know, rolls right off your back. So you, you don't take situations seriously. You don't, you have a great sense of humor about things. And your optimism, your happy-go-lucky attitude and your happy demeanor attracted a lot of good people to you to help you to steer you the right on the right path and to also uh, really help you, you know, um, get out of sticky situations overall. So I feel like you've, you've survived a lot and uh, everything that you've gone through is kind of like creating the person that, that you are right now. And if you're dealing with other people, especially children or younger people, you almost want to steer them away from all the things that you've experienced. Because you've been through it all. So you're just like, this works. That wasn't good. This is good. So I feel like you want to steer somebody away from a specific, you know, event, a specific experience. And, um, you know, we're all living our lives, right? And um, I feel like some of you are dealing with someone who's, who's very stubborn. And they're going to do what they want. And I do see some of you, you're trying to uh, reach out to someone but I feel like they don't really trust your judgment because you put yourself in some bad situations in the past and you've made some bad decisions in the past. And I'm not saying this to shame you or anything like that, but I feel like they're, they're just like, no, I'm not going to listen to that because I know what I'm doing. If somebody is saying that to you, I feel like you should trust them, okay? And just leave it alone. Let them go through their life experiences. And then for others, you have somebody that's kind of like uh, their life is going astray. And uh, you wish you could do more, but there is that emotional rift. And so you don't know how to reconnect. And I would say that when it comes to communicating with the, the latter group, um, speaking from the heart, relaying your experience. And I honestly feel that they're looking at your life and they're looking at all the things you've done, uh, good or bad. And they have already taken that as an example of how they should live. So they might not verbally express that. You know, but I, I feel like they already know what they need to do. So I don't feel that you need to worry so, so much. So relinquishing a little bit of control, especially dealing with children, is going to be good for you. And I also feel some of you let go of that guilt, okay? We all make mistakes. And so if for whatever reason, circumstantial, 
you know, whatever the reason is that you could not have been around for your child growing up, make up for it now, but don't beat yourself up over things that have passed. Just aim to be a better person, do the right thing now, and, you know, don't uh, beat yourself up over those years that you haven't been around emotionally or physically. Um, don't beat yourself up over it. Don't use that to kind of like... Uh, allow you to overcompensate by being so lax and so lenient with the child. Does that make sense? So it, it's about doing things in moderation, okay? And erring on the, the side of we are an adult now. Uh, life circumstances shape us. Don't beat ourselves up over the past. Just aim to learn from it, move past it, and be a better person. I feel like for some of you, um, there is increase money coming through and I feel like some of you might be thinking about taking out a loan um, either for education furthering your education it is going to be really good for you I would urge you to to get that under your belt to get that done and over with because I feel like you've been wanting to do that for quite some time and the the timing was never right timing is never right when it comes to education but think about it as an investment in ourselves um, to enhance your employability and also to enhance your ability to work well with others, learn critical thinking skills. So it's a it provides a host of benefits for you. So don't procrastinate on this decision any longer, okay? So I do see money coming through from a family, even friends, and even financial institutions for educational endeavors. That will be really good for you. I also feel like... Um, there's like appreciation coming through from work, a lot of appreciation, um, possibly like a bonus, a pay increase or um, royalty checks, like commission checks. And um, where you are right now, right now, the money is good. OK, so I feel like for some of you, the, the work situation that you're in, but there's some restructuring. So you know that it's not going to be viable like 10, 20 years down the line. This is not a place that you want to retire at. And so I would urge you to. I guess like see this situation, whatever money's coming in now, it's okay for right now, but um, try to, you know, go back to school, try to figure out long term in terms of a career, what's, what's really driving your passion, what's really ha making you happy. And I feel some of you have dreams to own a business and um, I do see body shops, I do see mechanical shops, I do see carpentry too for some of you. I see you dithering with your hands, like doing things with your hands and I feel like that brings you great joy and satisfaction. And they're saying that dream is not out of reach, okay? So if you need to go back to school in order to realize those dreams, do it. And I feel like um, you, you need that push, you need that structure, you needed that growing up, you might not have had that and so you're kind of like bouncing around trying to find you know the, the place where you actually fit and so the, the point here is that we don't always have that structure but as adults we need to think about things long term. We can't just wing it anymore. I feel like it's important for you to set down some type of blueprint so that you can design, customize um, the, the things that you want to happen for you career-wise and professionally and also you know financially. Okay so the next two weeks will be a lot about planning, planning for your long-term future. Planning not just, you know, six months down the line, but more like your dreams, aspirations, and where those things are taking you financially, professionally, okay? So best of luck, Sagittarius. I will talk to you soon. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye.